Hello Psychonauts. So I'm going to start off this video today talking a little bit about my background in mathematics. So I have a bachelor's degree in mathematics and it's a little bit of a funny story how I ended up getting it. Uh, I was originally a physics major and after using psychedelics for a while I eventually had a falling out with the physics department and ended up dropping out of school for a while and when I eventually returned I finished my degree in mathematics. So I originally went into physics because I wanted to understand the nature of reality uh, and that's probably the same reason why after I first started using psychedelics I continued to use them. After having a few profound psychedelic experiences and notably the psychedelic experience that I talk about in the first trip report that I ever posted about um, 300 micrograms of LSD, ego death, uh, I had my trip of all trips and I was still a physics student at this time. My psychedelic experiences were really influencing my philosophical view of life. I had had a more strict materialist uh, view of life in the philosophical sense and then after using psychedelics I shifted towards a more idealist philosophical outlook on life and this is part of the reason why I felt I couldn't continue with my physics degree. Uh, I might go more into detail on this later but yeah I dropped out for a while, I got my degree in mathematics, I just recently graduated, well not too recently but a year ago. So in this video I thought I'd give a little bit of a mathematical perspective on the psychedelic experience, um, talk a little bit about where psychedelics and mathematics, like where these worlds meet and also perhaps a psychedelic perspective on some of mathematics. So the first thing I want to start off by saying is, you know, psychedelics are a consciousness expanding experience, but psychedelics don't have a monopoly on consciousness expansion. Uh, studying mathematics is a consciousness expanding experience, as well as a whole host of other things. They can expand the ways in which we can perceive of and conceive of reality. I think where psychedelics and mathematics really come together is in this realm of the mind. Uh, like I mentioned, I had this philosophical shift from being having a materialist perspective and thinking reality was ultimately physical to believing that the foundation of reality was non-physical. And that led me into studying mathematics. Mathematics is beautiful and psychedelic in itself. Mathematics and psychedelics have a little bit of crossover. I think the most common thing that I've seen is, you know, references to the Mandelbrot set or uh, maybe Fibonacci. Uh, one that I really like that I might talk about more is, um, I think I'm gonna say it wrong, but uh, Gödel, Gödel. I think it's more like Gödel, Girls and Completeness Theorem. Um, there's a lot of really far out ideas in mathematics that I think are worth discussing from the perspective of someone who's also had mystical experiences that sort of transcend your typical analytical, systematic, logical thinking. Um, that's one thing about having a mathematics background that I found interesting taking into my psychedelic experiences, having a mind that's more that has a tendency to be analytical, to be systematic, uh, to be very logical. There's almost this contrast with that in the psychedelic experience and it makes, it makes the, the mystical experiences and the spiritual revelations that much more profound. One thing that I think is interesting that's related to the philosophy of mathematics is this question of is mathematics invented or discovered? And I think we can draw a parallel to another question that relates to the psychedelic experience, and that is, do we create or discover psychedelic realms? So the question of mathematics, of whether we invent it or discover it, in my opinion, I would say that it is something that we discover. And I, I'm gonna apply that same idea to what I think about the psychedelic experience, at least to some extent. I don't think it's purely, you know, I don't think mathematics can purely be described as an invention, and I don't think psychedelic experiences can purely be described as a creation of our own brains. I think that there's more to it than that. I think that they have 
more of an existence and a reality of their own. Um, one view of reality that I have is that there may be this larger mathematical reality in which physical reality is just a special case and you know everything that's mathematically possible may well exist. I think psychedelic realms have an existence of their own in a similar way to how mathematics and systems and structures of mathematics have an existence of their own. I think this existence is mental, you know, it's not an existence that is to be found in the physical dimension. There are so many areas of mathematics that have no empirical physical counterpart. Uh, the realm of pure mathematics is where some of the most deepest beauties can be found. Another thing I'd like to share is I think it's important to have a variety of perspectives on the psychedelic experience. Um, I've always thought that psychedelics should be taken by people, um, you know, with all roles of society. You know, I've always thought it would be really interesting to give psychedelics to, you know, scientists and, you know, mathematicians and artists and musicians. I think that that's more commonly associated with psychedelics, but I think having the scientific and the analytical and the mathematic perspective of these experiences is just as useful. So I hope that I can provide occasionally some mathematical perspective on these experiences. I would like to go further into certain ideas in math that I find to be psychedelic in nature and talk about these topics. There also are aspects of the psychedelic experience that we can apply mathematical models to. But there are interesting things to look at, you know, the symmetry of different visuals and the geometry, uh, specifically like the hyperbolic geometry of, I think that kind of comes to mind a little bit, of certain psychedelic experiences. I think that's really interesting. Um, there are also other concepts in abstract mathematics that I think can be used to help describe some of the psychedelic experiences. This is where it gets really hard to talk about. Uh, mathematics is truly a language. Mathematics is the language of the mind of the universe. You know, when I'm working in mathematics, it's just all this language in my mind and I can't directly translate it into English all the time. Uh, that's another similarity, I guess, that uh, psychedelics have with mathematics is they can't be, it can't be so easily downloaded into English. I really do take seriously the idea of psychedelic research and sort of mapping the psychedelic experience and there is a reality to the psychedelic realm, to the psychedelic landscape and I just really am interested in, I'm interested in all the ways that that reality can be better understood. Overall, I think my background in mathematics and the psychedelic experiences that I've had have really complemented each other well. I hope that I can continue to provide a unique perspective on the psychedelic experience. So I think that that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!